Hi friends, in this video I'm going to write a simple Java program to print all the permutations of a given string. The way it works is from the given string, we're going to split the A and BC like this, A, and for the BC, we're going to generate the permutations. So it becomes BC and CB. And in the next step, we're going to use A with these two strings and generate six permutations. This is how the program is going to work. Let's see the code now. I've written the class called string permutation and the input string is ABC. There is a method called permutate, which is a recursive method because we're going to call this method for different strings. This condition is important to break the recursive call. So here the steps are take the first character and the remaining character and then call the same method recursively. The logic would be in the first step, the string would be ABC. So we're going to split this A and BC. So using this B and C, we're going to generate the permutations like BC and CB. Once these two are available, we're going to combine with A character. So with this A character, with different permutations, we'll be finally generating these six different permutations. This is how the program is going to work. So in this step, we're going to get different words and this for loop is meant to generate the permutations. For example, here it will be B comma C and using this for loop, we're going to generate B, C and C, B using the small private method. To understand, let's debug this code. I have started the program in debugging mode. Please see here, it's a recursive call. In the last step, it is C and it has B, C in the second step and here it is the remaining characters B, C. I'm going to proceed in the debugging mode. So I got one. Now we can see after the first iteration, we have generated the permutations for B and C. And in the last iteration, we are able to generate the six permutation for the given string. So when I run this program, I'm able to get the six permutation for this program. This code is available in my GitHub. Please try out. Hope this video is useful. Thank you.